Due to YouTube and the COPPA laws, if you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with a video of a last minute gift idea. I do these every year. This year I am super, super behind. So some of these you won't see and there were some amazing things, ideas that I had. So I'm gonna find my receipts and return them. Um, uh, the things that are not Christmas related, I'll still sprinkle them throughout my channel throughout the year. So, um, but what we're gonna do today is actually a twofer. It is a uh, great gift idea, one, but it's also my great gag gift idea. I forgot that I had to do a gag gift. We had pulled names to do gag gifts. So I did my Christmas shopping early. Like I was done before December hit and I forgot about it. I was like, oh shoot, I got to do my $10 gag. What am I going to do? Bloop, 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 bloop. I thought of something really quick, really easy, really inexpensive because it's $10 and under and it's kind of creative. So it also can be used for just a regular gift. Like if you got to go to a little party, you want to give a little something, you want a budget, you want to give a little something, do a little something, bring out your craft supplies, see what you got around the house and let's get to it. Okay, the items that I'll be using are mostly from the Dollar Tree. Like, oh, so excited about that Dollar Twenty Five Tree. I'm still calling it Dollar Tree, whatever. These are glitter on um, transfer sheets, and I use these one time, and I had to do it on a quick craft. So I'm gonna use them again because they come in silver and gold. They're pretty cool. They're really uh, large. I think it's A4, so you get a nice little mount for what you need to do it with. I'm also going to be pulling out some metal tags because that's going to be my tag for the gift. I'm going to be using a couple pop dots, um, some double-sided tape. These are all from the Dollar Tree as well as majority of my gag gift or maybe all my gag gift. So I'm going to start with um, my tag first um, and then I'll move on. I'm going to be using a scrap sheet of paper from my stash as well. My gift, my gift uh, is surrounding this um, pattern. So I was so happy to have a little sheet left over from a project I just did and it all matches great. So what I did was just use my silhouette software. Of course, you guys know I was going to say that. Although the back of these instructions do indicate that you can use like your punches and stuff. So, or a, an X-Acto knife, which they have at the Dollar Tree as well and just cut out what you need. So, um, but I am using my software. I cut it out on my portrait and I was good to go. All I did was type in some words that I'll be using um, in this project. So you get three gift tags. They're so cute. I'm not gonna be using this, um, but you get these thin metal gift tags and I'll just grab one. And what I'm going to do is grab a little bit of this double-sided tape and I'm going to put it all the way even over this hole here and then I'll just replace the the hole after I'm done putting the paper on. This won't work with hot glue, I don't believe. Um, I think it's just best that we use double-sided tape. I'm going to pull out my uh, pen or whatever this this piercing tool that I absolutely love. I have maybe six of them and I love them so much. They all walk away and disappear at some point. So I keep buying them, but um, they're great. And the nibs do get dull because I use it a lot for weeding, but I'll just go in and grab another pack. They come in a pack of two. Great deal. So 50 cents. Well, dollar twenty-five, whatever, sixty-two cents now. But um, and then I'm gonna go ahead, seal that down, and put this right on top. Give that a good press because I want everything to coordinate. Coordinate. All right. I'm gonna cut around this really quickly. I'm gonna take the back of my scissors and just just stress the edges just a little bit. Because my gag gift, I pulled my husband. So, um, just make it a little rough. Plus, I want a little bit of the silver to show. Because I'll be using the silver glitter iron on. And then some other silver things to accent the project. And then, the next thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and put some flowers together. I will also be using um, some of these little holly. I made a bunch they're too large for what I want it to be. Plus, I only have a few more. So I'm just going to use the small one here just to give it like a little Christmas effect. And then I'm going to 
make these flowers. Now these flowers are a dye that I got years ago. You guys know I had this dye for forever, I feel like. But people are asking where I got it from. And I can't tell you. All I can do is tell you the search point setter dye and look up in Auntie or Ali, wherever you want to go and find it. That's all that I can that's all that I can offer you right now. <laughs> so all I'm gonna do is just pinch up these sides. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use this large one. But let's see before I do the next one. I'm using some mirror paper from Cardstock Warehouse. Um, that might be too large. Let's just set those aside for now. And it's very sturdy. So these little edges are sharp. It's it's really reflective, and I love it. It's very thick. Um, as you can see, I'm having a... It's not easy to bend them up. But they are perfect for what I need them for. Try these flowers. And then these, I'm just going to gonna bend them up a little bit use my little this little tool here give it a little bit of texture on these little flowers I may just end up using these last two I'm gonna grab my little pop dots this is how I make them look a little bit more you know just stand out a little bit more is to add a pop dot in between your two layers I'm just gonna secure it with a tiny bit of glue and offset them just like this, a little bit. Okay. And do the same thing to that one. And then we can put a little bling piece in the middle if your center flower doesn't um, cover. You can put a little bling piece, you could put a little those little glitter balls, if you have them, button. I mean, there's a lot of things you can put. You cut out a circle piece of paper and put it in the center too. So I've already cut out my um, name and it says to hubby on here. And we're gonna do the iron on. I'm just gonna use my little, it's cold down here <laughs> where I am. So I always have a little, a little throw or a little something. I made this sweatshirt um if you follow me on that so cute on my sewing channel link down below you'll see it but yeah i made this little sweatshirt and then i'm just going to use it today to keep my desk from warping <laughs> i got my little heater on my mini cricket mini and then i'm just going to run this over the top and see how this Dollar Tree paper really works. Like I said, I did it one time. I can't even remember how it turned out, if it worked. But now we'll see. We shall see. You could do this with an iron, it says on the back of the direction. So I'm just doing it the normal amount of time that I would like my normal heat transfer vinyl from HTV Rind or something. Let's see. Oh, that's hot. All right, come through Dollar Tree. And then I always go over it once more to seal the deal without the plastic piece. I like, oh, that's metal. It means it's hot. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this hole back in there with my crocodile. And that is so cute. I love it. So shiny. Let's put that there. To hubby goes there. I mean, the, put the holly there. Put that next to this little hole there. And then put this one here. That's enough. That's good enough. Just gonna grab this, this little thing I got from, oh, Hobby, Hobby Lobby, yeah. Or if you're from my live uh, the other day, if you're from my live, then it's Hooby Looby. <laughs> it's one of those things where you have to be there. Glue dot there and a little glue dot there. And just set that right on top to hide the center. Oh, come on. Be a friend. Thank you. All right. I have some twine also from the Dollar Tree that I'm just going to use to thread this here. And then we'll hang it on our little gag gift. Pull that right behind. 
pull it through. And then we have the cutest little Dollar Tree tag. And they also have flowers there, you know, paper flowers. If you're, you know, don't have a dye and want to go through all that, paper flowers are there. So now it's time for part of this gag gift. So like I said, I pulled my husband and I'm going to give him this eye mask. Short story while I'm preparing this. This is from the Dollar Tree. If I didn't mention it before, I'm going to keep this because it's going to be useful when I get done. And then, um, short story, when Robert shuts down for bed, he literally shuts down. We'll be watching TV and in the middle of a thing, he'll say, all right, night, night time. And then just shut off lights, turn on his, do like his nighttime routine. He sleeps with a fan all year round. He turns off the Christmas tree like right now. And like, he's just shutting down. And I'm sitting there like, uh, Okay, I guess I guess we're going. I guess we're going to bed. So, um, so I, I we alternate. So I like to have the Christmas tree on. So he doesn't because he's like paranoid about whatever. So on my days that I can have it on, he doesn't like the light. So I got this was perfect. So he can put on his eyes and he could do what he needs to do to go to sleep and not worry about the light. So I think it's a win-win. Okay, so guess what I'm going to put on top of his little sleepy eye mask with the glitter from the Dollar Tree. Night-night time. <laughs> How appropriate. So I have this on here. And it matches my little theme. I'm so glad they had so many options. I'm going to move that away right now. I'm so glad they had so many options of this pattern okay i might be able to do both of these at the same time let's get some scissors out and this is going to go along with my gag gift so it's going to be super fun super cool is that lined up appropriately it's best it can do all right let's get this heated up if you don't have one of these uh sheets here you can also use parchment paper and they have that at the dollar paper, dollar tree as well all right that was like 15 seconds. I didn't know the type of material behind it, so I didn't want to burn burn it, but it did well, and it's still very hot. Peels perfectly. And let's go over it once more. Really nice. So I'm going to put this back on here as it was. Here we go. So cute. Personalized. You can put whatever you want on there. And then while we have this out, I'm going to move on to the last thing that I'm going to add some vinyl to. So this is a multi-purpose bandana and it has several colors. Um, this is how you can use it different ways. You can use a mask, a headband around your neck cold weather, that kind of thing. Um, but my husband cannot fit into this. I'm purgy positive. Although it does have some stretch, about that much, but that's super tight. So I'm going to use it for something different. Um, and we'll see. So what I'm going to do is right about, I'm going to center it right about here. I want to show you guys the weeding of this really quickly. Now this is what I'm going to put on here. So all I do is I use my little poker tool and start myself off. Be careful. This is, you know, it's a Dollar Tree, but it's not super sensitive, but you just want to be careful with your cuts and see what do I need to, oh, that stays. It's down here. Okay. Um, and not just rip it off, which you kind of just want to do that with any type of vinyl that you're weeding you don't want to waste product you want to waste time you don't want to be frustrated so just take your time with it and like i said it's not super sensitive so you can go ahead and pull it you see what i'm doing so but just remember when you're getting around those intricate details like whatever font you choose just be careful. I chose a Mrs. Claus font um, for this. And I'll link it down below. 
really just fun, fat little font. And then I'm going to weed the centers here. And just remember also as well, when you're doing this, if you're doing this with a cutting machine, you have to mirror your image, your words, whatever it is that you're cutting. You have to mirror it so it looks opposite because you're flipping it over to the opposite side when you're heating it on your substrate. I'm just gonna clear out all of my little middle parts and they weed easily. So, you know, I bought a little weeder for myself and I cannot find it anywhere. I literally haven't even used it yet. I had it on my desk. Kyla came down here to clean. I don't know where it is. I'm thinking if I were Kyla, where would I put a tool that looks funny like that? <laughs> See what that says? <laughs> Lump of coal. And I'm gonna put it right in the middle. And then go ahead and heat that up. Okay. Just peel this right on off. All right. So that's nice and cool. I bumped my iron on the L, but it's okay. You still can see it. It's a lump of coal. It's night-night time. And then to hubby. So awesome ways to, you know, awesome ideas of things that you can um, vinyl on using the glitter iron on from the Dollar Tree and all of these Dollar Tree items. So let's go ahead and put our gag together. All right. So normally I would suggest that you stitch the bottom here, but I know a lot of people are not stitchers and they're like, I don't want to stitch. I don't want to stitch. So if it's a gag gift and you're like, you know, that it's going to be kind of, you know, maybe not dumped, but it's just going to be not a piece that they're going to keep in their closet forever. Then I will go ahead and use some glue and, um, put it together but again i if if it were just me sitting here and not all of you guys i would just run upstairs to my sewing room and stitch the bottom but be that as it may we're gonna do this simply and easily so to make this little bag we're gonna cut the turn it inside out get it as even as the bottom as you can you're gonna cut the corners at just a little angle a little triangle I'm not doing any precise measuring. I'm literally just two little triangle corners. All right. And then we're going to glue the corners together. And I'm using hot glue. Okay. Do that on the other side. Now we can glue the bottoms together to close it up. Okay, that's in there. It's not going anywhere, okay? Let me flip this back outside. And then you have your little ends, and we did the corners, so it looks like a little bag. It's not like a, a square. So you have your little pinched-in corners, so it looks like a bag, okay? So that's cute, isn't it? And now um, you want to get a piece of cardboard, a chipboard, and we're gonna open this up and kind of fit a, just a piece of chipboard so we can have a little bit of a base. So I'm just gonna eyeball a little bottom and then we'll go from there. And remember we're putting it in these little corners, no extra. This is optional. Now, if you don't if you don't have a bunch of heavy items at the bottom, I wouldn't put the cardboard. I would just have it a bag, you know, just like how Santa bag. And I might do that, but let me see because I got some heavy stuff to put in here. So this is my lump of coal bag. Um, so I got some items for Robert. Now, all these things we we try Dollar Tree items all the time. Some things are good, some things are not. 
some things work. So this whole area smells good because some of these things have like a eucalyptus smell or tea tree. This is tea tree and charcoal. And I tell you, it smells, oh, it smells so good. This is a face and body cleansing wipe. And it's in a nice, neat little, you know, package that doesn't look like, oh, that's do definitely Dollar Tree. And it's by the Nobleman brand. So I try to stay all within the Nobleman brand. These are deep cleansing nose pills. You get two. Um, to get your pores together. And then um, I did get some charcoal. He uses charcoal for his teeth and charcoal for his, he has a face um, wash that he does. So I thought this would be good to get a, as a soap and sponge in one a charcoal face mask. And then I grabbed the vitamin C facial syrup, serum uh, with glycolic acid in it. And it just kind of provides a little peel. And I use facial serum myself. So I thought that was good to add. Still well within my gag gift budget. This is the face scrub that I was talking about. It's an energizing face scrub. So really, really cool. And then I also grab the cleanser. So you do, it's oil and pore control. And then you, once um, you do the face scrub, not the same day, alternate. And then I have some Brookstone two-pack large nail clippers in black. Look how cool these are. These are so neat. I thought they were so nice. He's always looking for clippers. You mind, where's your clippers? And he's using all my nail stuff. So he got his own set of clippers. Not like he needed any more of those. And let's not forget that we have the Night Night Time mask. So I'm going to load these in here in my little satchel. So see how cool these gifts are? It's like... Okay, Dollar Tree, come through. I'm just going to load all these things just like this. They won't stay as, you know, neat as this, but that's how we're going to pack them. And you got your, look how cool that is, your lump of coal. And then what I'm going to do is, I could have brought that lump of coal down just a little bit, but I'm going to, raise my top so that it shows oh my thing isn't even either okay that makes it a lot a lot a lot better all right so i'm going to grab some more um some of that twine that i use for the tag and just tie this in a little knot that is so neat so neat. And then um, my tag. Got my tag. See how that it's really cool to add on there. And then I also have some ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It says Merry Christmas. I forgot to add the shred. Now I got to open this back up. Nothing like a gag gift without having shred. So I got my shred over here. all of that in there and then I'll use some more of the twine okay and then we can use this pretty ribbon to tie around and make a cute little bow y'all know how I am with bows so I'm not even gonna play around with that just gonna cut off the extra all right there we have too heavy now you can always put a le another little piece of paper here or write with a black sharpie some really cool little message on there well that's that so too hubby here is your lunk of coal i mean if we were really being rude we could put sack of but no we don't do those things <laughs> so um lump of coal there and boom done so i hope you guys like this quick and easy diy you can even use this as a birthday gift because all the stuff in here was really really nice guys so smells really good and it makes a great gift so go ahead and find see what you need to find this is a last minute gift idea under ten dollars whatever you want to put in here that's very attainable um and check out all the items from the dollar tree that i mentioned in the video and i will talk to you guys soon uh, if you have a moment take a moment and hit that like button and let me know what you guys think about this project and I will talk to you soon. Bye.